In this video, I just explain you the project Google Map integration. In a Visual Basic project, so if you are a customer, the customer details and we want to show the customer location on a map. So it is like it is a grid. Here we have a customer data. If I click the customer data, the map should appear next to it and it show where exactly it is. From that, uh, we can know the location. So where exactly the store is located. When you integrate the map along with the data, so it very helpful for the companies to know exactly where it is located. So what we can do in this project? This project basically to collect all the customer details. By using the customer data, we also integrate with the map. So uh, this is a simple project. Here we collect the customer details. Customer detail. Customer will be into category. So we can categorize them. The customer belong to particular category. So for category data. So based on the company, company can create the categories. If it's general, so if it's a common project, then what I can do, you can say medical stores. Medical store. Then you can say theaters. Then you can have a shopping mall. Then you can have a bus stop. So like that, we can enter complete data, make it everything is ready. Then you can give to the people. So people can go to the, use this, application and they can search for the particular uh, category and that list will come and the list if they click they will get the complete details along with the map. This is the main name and also here we need to understand like how to use the web browser. There is a web browser control in Visual Studio. We need to understand like how to use the web browser control to browse the data. Not only integration, we can also browse the data. We can also go to any of the website. So you can type the website address, then you can able to browse. That means even if you are, if there is a browser is absent in your system, you can make this application and via this application you can have a browser. So via that browser we can able to browse the net. So you can able to browse the internet. So these are things which we would like to cover in this particular project. So any project you would like to prepare these are the steps. First, you need to select the project title and here in this case, okay, this is totally different project because here we are integrating via net and we are showing everything in our, our project itself. Therefore, it's a little technical and a little different project. So based on this project, you have to create the synopsis for this and then project design. You need to design like what all the things will be there in this project and then you have to write the program. After that, you have to make the document. So these are things is required as well as curriculum is required. So in case you wish to buy any funnel projects, please contact us. So Google Map integration. So this project can be implemented using VB.net, or C Shop, or Java, or even in Android. This will be very useful for the students who are doing any of these courses. So what are the things you learn from this? You learn some language skills. So we'll explain some basic uh, coding, how the whole project works, how you written the code. Therefore, you will come to know like how we can write the program. And also you want to know details of the you need to learn Visual Basic or C Sharp or Java. That's a different issue. But in order to write a project, at least you should know the complete thing. So if there are 15 chapters, you know all the 15 chapters, then only you can able to write the project. If you know only one or two, that is very difficult. Domain skills. Domain skill basically like uh, what domain you are doing. Domain is what is the company or for whom you are doing, how the, what is the requirement for them, what they want, how this project will help them. So it's so all the purpose, all these things comes under the domain. Here we will show you like, so this is like a database, a complete database of a city where all kind of stores are existing. So therefore, uh, any store, if I click, I want to get the complete details of the store and then uh, I want to show on the screen, on the map. So I want to show the map and where it is located. That is what the main name. Then work experience. If you do this project your own, you will get an experience. Uh, that experience definitely count to get the job. Now look at the forms, which are the forms you are using in this project. We have few forms, uh, but basically one is a customer form to enter the customer details. Category form to enter the category details. Our search form is very important. Here you can search the customers. Then here is a browser form. So just 
we open the new browser uh, there you can browse any data tables uh, we are using microsoft sql server as a backend here and we have only three tables one is login table category table customer table all customer data or store data will be stored into the customer table or any data so you can change the name and then you can store a lot of data in the same table so here is the thing now uh, this is mda form so once you open the project uh, you get all these links so these are the tables and these are the forms so when you say category when you click on category the category form will be open when you click customer the customer form will open when you enter the customer data it will come to the customer table then search and then report so i'll demonstrate the project like how this works so if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel fine so i just open the project in uh, visual studio so this is a visual studio 2019 it's a community edition here is a mapdata.mdf this is a database so that is opened in the server explorer your category customer login and if you don't know like how to create the database and how to create the tables we have a separate video please watch that video and here is server explorer window and here are the forms so this is a customer form to enter the customer details and here is a category form to enter the categories and this is the mda parent but first let me learn this project so here is a category so we have medical store one category likewise you can create a multiple categories via this form and then here you need to enter all the data so you can see that uh, my age customer code my age medical store this address so let's say number uh, three two it's in vijayanagar uh, bangalore fine so it's a type medical store and here is a link actually we collected the, all the link from the google map and link is pasted over there now when you go to search um, so you can search based on the name or you can search based on the category so the list will come so you can see the address the address is located here so now i want to see it on the map okay so if i click on this the map should come over here fine so it's showing there are some script error okay so now i don't want this script error so you need to stop this okay so in order to stop the script errors what you have to do is you have to come to search form right here is the web browser right so the web browser we can select from the toolbox okay so this is the web browser we already added over here okay so right so here is a web browser and in the web browser there is a property called script error suppressed property called as a script error suppressed so make it true so therefore the script error shouldn't come okay now let us run this so go to search and then medical store okay now you can click fine so it's showing now my medical store here and the script errors are not coming fine so we can minimize this so you can get other details from the google also fine next thing is i can show the same thing in the browser fine so if i go to customer again so if i select the customer let me select the link then you go to browser so we already open our website so here you can type the address and you have to click on the go button so you can see that uh, we can able to see it in the web browser here is a web browser so you can also browse any of the website for example you can go to google.com code.in so to go to the google website so you can say my medical store right so there are many here so therefore uh, which one we are searching so we are searching for vijayanagar so that you need to figure out and we can find okay so we can make a web browser our own by using the 
web browser control in a visual studio so then how to use the web browser so i'll just show you i'll create a new form and i'll show you this i'll add up a new form so this is a form 2 and now let's say z form 3 uh, form 2 is already there i'll make form 3 so here is a form 3 so now you want to make it is uh, maximized so you go to the window state here and we selected the form 3 and then you increase the size to maximized now you can see that uh, it's maximized so we wish to change the background color you can change the background color okay some color here now you want to add up the web browser so this is a web browser so is fit the complete screen is dock to the complete screen so you don't want to dock to the complete or you can undock so then it will be there here now i can resize it fine so now you have to type the address web address so we require a text box so i just already have here so i copy this and the button also so you can come back to this and then you can paste it here so now we have a text box and the button so then you have to write the code here so what are the uh, address you type which should take me to this okay so a simple code fine so already have the code here so two lines of code i'll just copy this and i'll show you like what it is here you say that url1 is a variable and the text box 1 dot text what are you entering the text box 1 it will transfer to url1 then you say web browser 1 dot navigate navigate url1 so what are the website we type you should open that particular website now i want to open this particular uh, form only then i go to my project properties so you can see that uh, mda parent 1 instead of that you select the z form 3 so now we'll show straight away to the z form 3 and you don't want to show the rest of the forms fine so here it is you can see that uh, nothing is there so now let it type the website okay so let's say iblix.com okay so you can say script ls so you have to go to properties and then there you need to rectify the uh, script error is going to true you have to make fine so now i have to go to google website google.co.in Yeah, it's open the Google now. So here you can search whatever you want, like Visual Studio. All right. So now you can see that uh, you, you can have your own browser and we can work with that. So these are the things which is covered in this project. Hope uh, you like this video. So if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.